What are your dreams? What are your wants? Do you want to grow your business? Help you crush your goals personally, professionally, and financially. Just join the conversation. Hey guys, what's up, man? It's Dr. Grassi, and we're going to talk about how a dentist gets more clients, how, how we're really going to get more clients, right? And what we're going to talk about today in the next video, we're going to go about the five topics of how you can get more clients or whatever it is. This is kind of part two of this series and welcome to the call. So, and, and we're, we're, like I said, we're going to talk about how can we get more clients? How can we establish this? And since the first call is so much success and you guys asked for it, we decided to like, how can we make this even better? How can we do a second or third part of the marketing call so that you guys really get what you want, which is the experience and as to become the dentist. And so, so all I want you to do guys is just sit tight, enjoy, and, and we're going to cover how you can start your own game of success and how to bring your dentist marketing to that next level. We all have decisions to make. The only way to be made is if you're ready. Like, I mean, are you truly ready? Do you understand you can't escape your future and because everything rests on whom we decide or ourselves or as individuals. And as a dentist, you need to know, can you do the research? Can you put in the time in order for it all to pay off? Can you, can you might not be able to attract the new clients or first, but with some hard work and finding leads. And, and I promise you guys, I've been doing this a long time, getting the right marketing services, probably picking what you want. Soon your business will blow up, man. Understand you'll know what to market as, what to do, how to make an impact, how to do this. You can get more clients as dentists. We'll help with proven marketing systems. And if you use it today, I promise you can start attached. You'll get attached qualified leads. It'll turn into payment, paying patients. I mean, it'll be amazing, guys. And like I said, I've been, I'm Dr. Bobby Grassi. I've been right where you were before. I've, I've, I started out with a $750,000 practice. And I, I make over $4 million a year as a practice. Now, I don't sell you that to boast. I got three different companies. I have to market in different regimens. So I'm telling you this because where you got to been frustrated, even to this day, I get frustrated of not getting the leads that I want sometimes. And how do I handle it? What do I do? Guys, one thing I would always tell you is look at, you know, we talk about this is step two. So maybe look at directory listings. A lot of businesses need to have consistent online presence. Unfortunately, this can lead to potential patients needing help finding your own business or needing clarification about which listing is correct. Like, what do you do? Having a consistent online presence can be costly, right? And we talk about this all the time is, you know, how do you balance money with what you want? The thing is, if your marketing works, then the cost is irrelevant. So especially when it comes to attracting a new dental patient, like as a result, you could lose out of business without realizing it, right? You want to have the right directory listing. You want to make sure that your online presence or communication is right. Because when you attract the people, remember, you're going to attract what you market towards. You want to attract what fits the culture of your practice. So directory listings are a great way to improve your online presence and to attract more new dental patients. They are a great way. Make sure you have the listings as many directories as possible and that they are completely consistent. So one, directory listings can be a great way to increase traffic to your website. Two, make sure your website is listed as many directories as possible. Three, directory listings can help improve your website search engine rankings. Four, to be sure to list your websites in an appropriate category. And then five, make sure your website listings is accurate and up to date. So many times I see people listing it and they did it a year ago, two years ago, but it's not up to date. Keep it fresh. Keep it new. Make sure you're doing everything right. Make sure it's representing your brand. Uh, and then distribute some press releases. Tell the press what you're about. It's, it's a great way to get the word about your dental practice, but it can take time to know what you write about, right? What do you write about on a press release? You want to attract patients to your dental practice, but you don't like just sending out, hey, we're in business. Hey, we're doing this. Oh my God, I'm here. Like I'm doing that. You know, that's boring and no one will care. Press releases are one of the most effective dental marketing strategies because they reach a large audience by writing interesting things. Even if it's a blog, informatic presses, releases can attract patients in your presence. There are a number of ways to which distributing press releases can help you, right? One, some of the ways are one, it helps create brand awareness. Can't even spell it out. Two, it's an effective way to communicate with media. Three, it helps building relationships with the media. Four, it helps in getting media coverage. And five, it helps generate leads. So how much would it cost to create a press release? Guys, you can go to uh, htps.ordo.pressereleases.com, right? A per press release, though, will cost roughly probably $399. I'm going to ask yourself this question. Why would you want to do a press release? We've talked about that. A press release Get your name out there. It tells people what you're about. So many times we assume oh, our great work is what's going to bring them in or just what we do is going to bring people in. That's not the case. You need to get out in the world. You got to tell people around you, you know, become omnipresence. Get that press release. Tell people what you're about to be amazing. Another thing, you want to pay per click advertising. If you're looking for a great way to reach more people who are interested in dental care, then pay per click ads might be the right option for you. 
One, they're increased web traffic, right? One of the top benefits of using pay-per-click ads are your dental practice that increase web traffic. So you'll see when your ads are clicked, they will direct users to your website where they can learn more about your services and schedule an appointment. Two, it's the most effective, cost-effective pay-per-click ads are the cost-effective way to market your dental practices. You only pay when someone clicks on the ad. So it's very advantageous. So it's pay-per-click. So you're not spending money on advertising that no one sees. You're not wasting advertising dollars. And then you can target traffic. You can target your marketing. This is where the, a lot of the Facebook ads come into play, right? Pay-per-click allows you to target specific types of people who are looking for dental services online. I do it a lot in implant dentistry. I do. I target it, whether it's ortho or implants. This means that you're not wasting your time and money marketing to people who aren't interested in what you're offering. Don't waste your time. If you want to attract certain people, don't waste your time on it. And then fourth, you'll get an increased return on investment because pay-per-click ads are so effective, they can help you see a high return on your investment for your maximum uh, marketing efforts. When you combine pay-per-click advertising with other marketing strategies, you can see even better results. So pay-per-click ads are a great way for your dental practice in front of potential new patients, but there are a few disadvantages that you need to be aware of. I did say that, you know, first, Pay-per-click ads can be expensive, so you need to be careful not to overspend on them. Don't go crazy. Target market, if it's not working, pull back, readjust, realign. Second, they can be time-consuming to set up and manage. So there, finally, it can be difficult to track their effectiveness and determine whether or not they're driving new patients to your practice. One way to track, guys, it is hard, is... Try to find out how did you hear from us? You know, even if it is pay-per-click, I try to find out or try to put some tracking stuff in there. Fifth, seek patients referrals with a patient referral program. I can't tell you how important a patient referral program is in my practice. I, I incentivize patients. They're a great way to increase your patient base. They're a great way to increase the patients you want in your practice. They are so advantageous. Like when you I, I tend to give prizes away. If you refer more patients to my practice, you get entered in the strong. If you do this, they do that. They're just setting up patient referral products can offer a discount to the patients for setting it up. You can give them rewards. They feel like they're contributing. They feel like the patient feels like they're part of the team. They feel like they're just part of something bigger. They're so prideful. I have, I can't tell you how many times somebody says to me, hey, did my friend come in? Oh my God, they're so excited. Like I give a patient to refer 50 bucks off on their next treatment, right? I give them, uh, if you refer five, you get entered in a drawing. Sometimes it's $2,000 cash. Sometimes it's golf clubs, whatever it is, get creative with this. Your staff will love to get creative with this. They'll love to help you set this up. They will love to get involved. Your patients will get involved and you're in direct control, it, it helps you know what your cost is. It doesn't cost you to ask for a referral. It doesn't cost you. Implement your team. Uh, uh, give your team an advantageous if they hand out a referral card and the patient comes back. Bonus, incentivize your team. Incentivize your patients. I'm telling you, the internal patient referral program is one of the best marketing strategies I ever come. And get creative with it. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. This is an opportunity to attract the exact ideal patient you want. If you have the ideal patient, ask for a referral. So many times people don't even want to talk on the phone and you can't get your staff talking on the phone. We've been there. It's not hard to ask for a referral. If, you're, if your team won't ask for a referral, please, you're with the wrong team. Then you got a social media marketing, right? As with most things in life, there are pros and cons of relying on social media to boost your dental practice. One of the, on the plus side, social media can help you connect with new patients. It builds relationships with current patients. It shares information about your practice. Social media platforms are a great way to showcase your expertise and, and attract new customers. The pros, increased exposure. One of the main benefits of social media that it gives you your dental practice exposure to a wider audience. It gives you to a wide range of audience. With social media, you can reach more people in a shorter amount of time. You can reach masses, right, versus marketing strategies. And it's not as costly. And the increased exposure can result in more patients with your practice. Two, cost-effective social media is relatively, like I said, cost-effective way to promote your dental practice. It allows you to get a message out. It allows you to be fun. It allows you to be creative. And you're actually controlling the cost is not that expensive, right? It increases your brand awareness. When you use social media to promote your dental practice, you raise your awareness of your brand to your potential patients. This can lead to more patients choosing what are the over dentists in your area. Like you can be fun. How many times have we seen people on TikTok or some things? You're like, oh my God, that guy seems so cool. Or that girl seems so cool. It creates you in a different light. You're not in the stuffy white coat. It just, it separates you. 
It shows your personality. Get creative with it. Greater engagement with patients. Social media allows you to engage more closely with patients. They can direct message you. You can have a team member, one of your crew members, get on, on it and control it. They'll love it. Your social media can answer questions, provide feedback, build relationships. It can increase engagement. It can lead to greater loyalty from your patients. They will follow you. They will I'm telling you, they, it's crazy. They, they will share your posts. Like they will do all the marketing for you. It's no different than the referral program. But there are some cons. It's time consuming. You got to have someone to manage it. Um, if you're not careful, it can easily become a time consuming task. You need to be prepared to invest time in creating it. That's one downside. Potentially negative feedback. You're going to hear negative feedback from patients. You're going to hear naysayers. You give the keyboard encourage people the opportunity to talk to you so be careful like but but to take it what it is if you're getting haters man just realize man you must be relevant in life like it's a good thing it's not a bad thing so always look at that understand it and then there's a risk of oversaturation sometimes when you oversaturate yourself people are just going to get annoyed they'll, they'll kind of fly right through you so you got to it's the time and balance it's just to play with it have fun with it engage with it enjoy it be it. This is an opportunity for you to show your personality. This is the opportunity for you to become the best version of yourself. Guys, so many times, I just want to tell you, I'm the step one was so success. That's, that's why we did step two. We will do step three as well. And I just want to know, was this call value? Did you get some great insights and tips? Do you want more of these types of calls? All you got to do is let me know at the info at the dentistco.com. Like, don't forget to follow me on social media. And keep me updated on more tips and tricks to grow your business, guys. And register for my private boot camp, The Relentless Dentist, and limited to 50 people where I work with you hands-on. You'll get my marketing strategy, how you can make more dough and get money back. Guys, I promise you, connect to me at the info at the You can go to the to see all my stuff I have. If you sign up, you're going to get 20% off. And actually the first 20 people that sign up, I'm cutting it in half, 50% people. If you want to know how to grow, how I did $750,000 practice to over 4 million with myself and three hygienists. That's it with 12 staff members in Flint, Michigan during a water crisis, during a GM crisis. Guys, if you want to know how I did that, you can. I'm no different than you. I have all the tips and tricks of over 20 years of doing this. Whether you want to do general dentistry, whether you want to do surgical techniques, whether you want to open up a dental lab, whatever it is, I'm here for you. Connect to me at the info at the and we'll talk soon. Hope you guys have a great day.